Now I will shut up for this because this is one of my favorite uh, part, uh, one of my favorite dialogues of the game. So yeah, there's a that little funny cutscene and Bubbles' his younger brother. And I really do like the throwback to um to Yoshi's uh island. And here I'm just showing off the um the posters right there. But I really, really wish they would release uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island on the Virtual Console because that would be a first day download for me because I love that game and I'm probably one of the very few who would say this that I do think it's better than the first Super Mario World but that's just my opinion okay whatever I still think Super Mario World's a, a great game in its own but I just like Yoshi's Island better but then again they could be classified as a totally different Mario game uh, because Mario is really not even a big part of it. You do play as Baby Mario in some parts, but that's it. And here he's going to explain how bean fruit makes eggs. Okay. Anyway, thanks to the bean fruit that we've gotten now, and I think I may have been in the pause screen at one point, and I checked to see how many I had. There are seven all in all, and you need, um, you need, uh, you need those to get the sign to be decorated in order to get the bean star piece. So now begins our hunt for the, uh, things. And here I thought that you could make this jump with the spin jump, but you can't. I was being an idiot. And here, <laughs> excuse me. Here I was totally getting lost because I t I did not remember what to do right here. And this is one of my this is my uh, second favorite bean star piece to get. Eh, fuck it. I'll, I'll just leave this in because I was talking. <laughs> I think I'll get to see the. Uh, 
the Goomba thingy do whatever it does or not. You gotta hate those freaking Paracoopas who can heal, but from this point on, I gotta watch if I run into an enemy because I need to be able to shut up. Ugh. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, it's still here. I'm looking for how the heck I'm supposed to get up there. And I'm failing miserably. <laughs> oh god. It's very easy to get up there when you know what to do, but I did not. And then, for some reason, I know this won't work. I think that there's a, uh, there's a thing that will go you, that will take you through that little cave right there. But if you go through that other ca the cave I just went through, that's how you'll get a, uh, an, uh, one of those mini dungeon things to get a special item from. But it's nothing you need to worry about. It's nothing get, that's going to help you big time. And Mario leveled up after that fight. A uh, little fun fact though, I accidentally pressed the run button during that fight. So I, when I ran from him, I went back and uh, refought him. So that was pretty much a dumb mistake on my part. And if you're good enough, you can get through this part right here without getting hit, but oh, no. unfortunately that's not my luck. Okay, there's that battle, and Luigi will level up. Uh, what did I raise on? Uh, I think it's it's bro points. No, it's this hack. Okay. <sighs> I need to raise a stat some because of the items I'm gonna start buying soon. They're actually gonna cost quite a bit, so it'd be a good idea to get some uh, discount, I guess. <laughs> spin, spin, hammer, fire! Spin, him and fire! <laughs> Scream! Aim! Fire! Oh yeah, quick shout out to Video Game God 2 for one and, uh, and, uh, Vidnoid. I really liked your guys' Guitar Hero World Tour Battle of Screaming Fire by Bulls from a Valentine. It's one of my favorite songs by them. Uh, anyway, um, here I'm desperately looking for how the heck I'm supposed to get to the, to where the bean fruit is that I'm going to get, because the one I'm going to do is the one that is the most hardest one to get, because you have to fight a piranha plant with Luigi alone. And if you're not properly um, equipped with like badges and stuff, you it'll take a long, long time to do. In fact, I, I thought the I thought the fight would take me forever, uh, so I actually got a clip for a fast forwarding thing. I'm not gonna say what it is because I'm gonna save the future then, but it would have been hilarious to do <laughs> to do a uh, fast forward thing. And I'm still going the wrong way here, because I know what's going to be up here. If you go this way, it, it again just leads you to some of the useless items that aren't going to help you. What you're supposed to do is come to the beach, and here I am thinking, oh god, I am totally lost, I have no idea what to do. And then I see the switch, and then I press it, and then I'm like, okay, now I remember where I'm going. Because <laughs> what you're supposed to do is spin jump over here, and do it again, and then use the, uh, the firebrand on this guy. And up here will be a piranha plant for the battle. I don't even remember how much HP the guy has. I just remember it. I think it's 300. I could be wrong, but I think it is 300. Because I remember back in the past when I played this game, Luigi wasn't like totally um like strong at all, pretty much in terms of attack and. I swear to God, his hit, the I, the attack amount of damage I was doing to him was four, and he has 300 damn uh, 300 HP. How long do you think that took me to do? So I have really just hate this guy ever since. I'm also gonna get owned by this guy too, but not I'm not gonna die, but I will get owned. Just watch. 
And that thing he has in his mouth, if you take a close look at it, it's Prince Peasley. Just use your hand technique on him this entire fight and you'll be able to beat him. But this is also why I recommend that you have Luigi leveled up a little bit in terms of attack. Because that way you don't have to worry about taking forever on this boss. Because this is the only boss in the game you have to fight alone with one bro. Besides Bowser at the very beginning, but that's just that though. I, I don't know really what caused me to suck right there. It also be a good idea to get your defense up too, but I didn't think anything of it. And here, when I, when I was recording this, I was like, oh crap, if he's going to do that attack again, I'm going to be so screwed, but luckily he's just going to do this one. The Prince Paisley one is the one that does the most damage, but it's also one, it's more the easier one to dodge. Ugh. Well, I'd say we're about halfway through this commentary so far. We're at 40 minutes, and I've still got like... 45 more minutes to go, holy crap. Oh man, it just shows you how long this thing takes. But I am still surprised I got all this done in an hour. But you know what, if this video is like 30 minutes, I honestly don't care. It's going to be me getting the bean fruits and getting the the one at the Yoshi Theater. I honestly do not care. <laughs> all this shit I had to go through. You guys are gonna suffer through it too. I'm sorry. I'm being like this, but it's it really was a pain in the ass to record this because I really did not want to play this today. Oh man. Great, my TV went to sleep again. My TV, my computer. All right, and I think this is when I finish them off. Yep. Yeah, that entire battle took like two and a half minutes, so it didn't take too long. Okay, now that we got the bean fruit, let's head back to Mario. <sighs> and now it's now I'm gonna go around getting the uh, rest of the bean fruits, but luckily it's not gonna take that long. Cause here I'm just checking the map and seeing where they are. Get a chuckle bean or two along the way. Why not? I swear, just me watching this is already making me... Uh, like, when I got to this point when recording, I think this is when I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna do post-commentary. And I can see why, because I'm getting bored just watching this. <laughs> I'm just going to get the freaking Beanstar pieces. Luckily, the rest of this game isn't this boring, but I swear, this is the worst part of the game. <sighs> Anyway, let's just go. Alright, now here's where I'm gonna get the next warp pipe.
Anyway, now that I got the warp pipe, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go off into a big tangent, really, because that's gonna be more entertaining for you guys besides watching this video. I know that for a fact, because this is just what's so boring. Anyway. Uh, let me talk about my next two Let's Plays, I guess, for the, for the most part. My next two, well, one of them is confirmed, because I've already got a couple parts made for it, so it's already in the clear, given the green light, it is happening. Um, it's Super Mario Sunshine, uh, because people were commenting on some videos and sending me messages, not, not just you, um, whatever your username is, that starts with a B, you know who you are. Um, you're not the only one who did that, uh, there were other people who did it as well, but, um, I, uh, it is Super Mario Sunshine, but the thing with that Let's Play is it's not going to be a 100% run. It's just going to be me getting all the Shine Sprites and, um, and, like, all the levels, well, not the red coins, I'm not doing any red coin missions that, like, in a floodless level, I'm not doing any of those. And, um, I'm not getting any of the secret shrines either. Well, I might get some here and there, but really what I'm doing is going to each level, getting all of the eight shine sprites in that level, and then I'm exiting the level and going to the next one, and that's going to be what the entire Let's Play will pretty much be. If I'll get blue coins, I'll get the blue coins, and that's just it. God. We're almost through this, but this is just so boring to watch! I'm just not talking till I get all these bean fruits, cause I, I'm just I'm I'm sick and tired of talking through this. Unless something interesting happens, I ain't gonna commentate on it. <laughs> so enjoy the silence. Okay, finally, now that we have all the neon color eggs, we can now light up the sign! And I just, I really do like this, of how the sign, when it looks like when it's up, when it's up there. I gotta admit that's kinda cool. <laughs> Although I think it would've been better if they said Yoshi Theater. Oh, yeah. Beanstar number two! That took long enough. <laughs> I don't even know how long this part's gonna be. It's gonna be long though. It's gonna be at least more than 15 minutes, I can say that much. 
Okay, finally I can start commentating again because we actually have more interesting stuff that's gonna start happening now than me getting fucking bean fruit. <laughs> oh god. I mean, it's fun to play, but commentating on it, it's just a real buzzkill. And luckily I did find this warp pipe, or else, um, going back to, uh, being Bean Kingdom to go in that warp pipe to go back to Guajar Lagoon would probably take a little while. <laughs> 